Getting the first sale, that's the easy bit. Getting repeats, that's the tricky bit. That's the holy grail. Uh, well, in this video, I'm gonna show you five tried and trusted strategies to build repeat business, including one killer step right at the end. So if that sounds interesting, before we do anything else, hit the subscribe button. I put new content on my channel every week and I'd love to be able to tell you about it. Um, and secondly, if you've not met me before, let me say hello. My name's Paul. I'm an accountant, I'm a CFO, I'm an entrepreneur, and I've spent over 25 years helping businesses to grow profitably, including running three of my own. Okay, so let's get back to the question of repeats. So why is it important to build repeat business? Well, you might say it's obvious, but I do think it's worth spending a second just thinking about it. The reality is repeat customers are much cheaper than new customers in terms of getting them to spend. And actually repeat customers in general tend to spend more than new customers because they know you and they trust you. So it's really, really important to focus on them. Time and time again, I speak to business, uh, business owners who, who focus on getting new customers in and all of their marketing efforts are about getting new customers. But once they've got that customer through the door and they bought something, they kind of forget about them and that's crazy. And that's why we're gonna show you some good strategies to really get them spending more on it. And really those people are the engine room for your business as it grows. The other good thing about driving repeats from, uh, you know, from, uh, you know, profit aside for a minute, is that repeat customers tend to be the biggest advocates for your brand. They, they, they bought from you more than once, then they love you, they'll be telling other people about them. So the more you can look after those customers, the more likely you are to get referral customers, you know, and more business down the line. In short, you're getting more money for less work. So those are two big reasons to focus on repeats. So before we dive into some the strategies to um, get more repeat customers, I'm gonna ask you a quick question. I'm really keen to find out, do you know, before we start here, how many of your sales currently come from repeat customers? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to know. And if you don't, please don't worry because most of the businesses I speak to don't really have much of a clue, but it's really important to, to think about that for a minute. So do drop me your thoughts below. I'd love to know whether, whether you've got a handle on it or whether it's something that you're keen to, to find more about. Okay, so I, with that in mind, I promised you five strategies. So let's dive on in. Strategy number one to building repeat business is all about understanding the data. To my point above, you need to um, think about you know, understanding what your customers are doing, their buying behavior. How many people are coming back to you, you're buying once, buying more than once? How often are they coming back? How much are they spending? Because that's really the starting point. If you know where you're starting from, that's a metric that you can then use to track going forward to see if you're making any difference. Are you getting more repeat customers? Are you getting them to spend more? And this is something you should be tracking ideally on a monthly basis. So uh, something to think about before we start, it all starts from the data. And if you've, you've seen any of my other videos, you'll probably get an idea that, that I'm a very data-driven chap because I really believe that understanding the data uh, behind your business performance is the key to growing your business quickly and profitably. Okay, so that's point number one. Okay, strategy number two, and this one sounds really obvious, but you'll be surprised at how many businesses don't ever ask the question, is that if you want to build repeat business, you've got to make sure your customers are happy. You know, and what do I mean by that? Well, it means giving them a great product, giving them a product or service, giving them something that they actually want, giving them a great buying experience, giving them excellent customer service. In short, getting it right first time and if and also getting feedback from your customers after they bought from you. Were they happy? Does your product do what they wanted it to do? Did they have any, is there something that's not working for them? Do they have any issues? You know, the more you can, can engage with your customers, the more you'll learn about your business and you'd also stand a much better chance of, of keeping them happy. Um, you probably gather I'm a Brit by the accent and English people um, are really, really bad at giving feedback. So many times people in, in the UK will buy something, think I'm not very happy with that, that wasn't a great experience, and they just think, well, I just won't buy from them again. What a lost opportunity. If someone had actually only reached out and asked how, asked how was that experience, you had a chance to make sure that customer's happy. And if they didn't have a great experience, you've got a chance to turn that around. 
And actually, if you do that, if you have this one a bad experience that you manage to turn into a really positive one, those people will be singing your praises just as much as a customer who was happy first time around. So that's strategy number two. The third strategy for building repeat business comes to having regular contact with your customers. Speak to them regularly. That you want to make sure that you're front of their mind when they're coming, when they're thinking about buying whatever you happen to be selling. And to do that, you, it's not just a kind of sending them sales emails, buy this, buy that. You want to make those customers feel special. Give them something which other people don't get. You might give them, for example, you know, sneak peeks to new product launches. You might want to give them exclusive deals. You might want to run a loyalty program. You know, you might want to ask them for feedback about new products that you're developing. Anything you can do to uh, have regular contact with your customers and make them feel special it means they're much more likely to come back and buy from you again. And they're also much more likely to, to talk, talk about you with their family and friends and everybody else. Okay, that's point number three. Point number four, keep an eye on your competitors and be one step ahead. Now, I know what you're thinking. We've been talking, Paul, all about knowing my customers. What do I care what my competitors are doing? Well, your competitors are going after the same customers as you. And if you're not keeping your existing customers happy, you can bet they're going to go elsewhere. So you need to have an eye on what the competition are doing. And that might mean registering for a competition's uh, mailing list is a good start. Keeping an eye on what's going on, you know, in shops, on websites, you know, what adverts they're running and where they're running. Whatever intelligence you can gather on what your competitors are doing means that you'll be able to uh, you know, assess what you're doing compared to that and make sure you are one step ahead. Okay, and then the fifth step, which is my, my, my killer step, I promise you right at the start, uh, and this one, uh, when I first heard this, I thought, oh, I don't think this is gonna work, but having done this in several businesses, I was blown away at the impact it had on repeat business. And that is, uh, when you're talking to your customers, don't always sell. How on earth can that be possible? Well, let me tell you, what you need to be doing is, adding value to giving customers something they want every time you speak to them we all expect when we sign up to a, to a retailer that i'm going to get you know emails bombarded with a 20 percent off every now and again and you know um, our inboxes are full of these kind of emails and they're just boring and most people just delete them without opening i, I know i do and this is something i really want um, uh, but actually if you uh, add value not selling to people that's that people will engage with you much more. So what do I mean by that? Well, talk to them about other things. Talk to them about your company's story, your, your, your growth plans, you know, where your products are made. Give them interesting articles about your business or lifestyle articles or advice about um, you know, other things which might be of interest to them. And of course, this comes down to how well you know your customers or even entertain them, tell them something funny. Give them a reason to engage with you, read your emails rather than just think, oh, they're trying to flog me stuff again. In short, you're trying to get them to love your brand because the more they love your brand, the more they're gonna come back and buy from you and the more they're gonna rave about you to everybody else they know. Well, there we are, guys. That's my five tips. Um, hope you found those helpful. Um, actually, if you want to think about those and take those, those tips away, I have a free fact sheet below which just summarises what we've talked about. Um, it's, only, it's only one page, so do download it below if that's of interest for you and then start thinking about how you might be able to imply, apply some of these steps to your own business. And also, before I go, I also have another free fact sheet which I'd really like you to download. Um, it's all about turbocharging your cash flow in your business and doing so without selling a penny more. Now, in my experience, having worked for 25 years with, with hundreds of different clients, the reason businesses struggle to grow, grow or go bust is because there's not enough money in the bank. And so what I've done is I've pulled together, you know, using my experience of all those years, 10 surefire tips which can start changing your cash flow for the better almost overnight. So if that's interesting as well, click the link below and download. And if you've not done so as yet, as I mentioned earlier, please do subscribe because I'm posting new content every week and I'd love to be able to share that with you. Well, thanks very much for listening. I appreciate your time and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.